Hmm. All right. Okay. So maybe what I'll do is I'll show you how. I'll uh, I'm start a new painting. Wait, let me just make sure this thing's on. Is this thing live? Are you live, internet? Okay, let me just make sure this this thing is live. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. How are you, sweetie pie? How are you doing? Let me just make sure this thing's live. Are you live, internet? I'll show you how to do this thing properly. Come on, internets. Internet. Oh, yeah. Okay, it's working. It's working. We're on the internet. Woohoo. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's say, oh, let me switch. Let's say you've got one of, uh, you've got some paper, right? Some watercolor paper, and you want to paint on it. But the problem is when you work with an individual sheet, there's a couple issues. Well, first of all, I'll take one out. This is a pretty good watercolor paper. Oops, let me turn the autofocus off. Let me get the autofocus. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Focus. There we go. Okay, now I'll turn the focus. Snap it in there. Okay, so let's just say you've got some watercolor paper. So I'm using Archie's. This is my favorite brand, um, but I, I got them individual, which is stupid. Usually it's in a block and it's much better. Anyhow, so if you do have individual pages, you're like, okay, no big deal. I'll just paint. I'll just paint on it. What's going to happen is the water is going to bend the paper and it's, it's going to do this. It's going to start folding, doing all kinds of weird shit. So what people tend to do and what people, what you should do is you get a harder surface. So here's like, this is actually, this is actually the, the board of, of a previous watercolor block. Okay. So it doesn't matter which side you use. And what you're going to do is you're going to tape it down to the surface. Okay. The reason why is it'll keep it nice and flat. And the best part is you could turn it, move it around without, without, um, like you can touch the edges. If you're paint, for example, there's a bunch of benefits. One is if you're, you paint your hands, you can turn it without touching the paper. Um, it's a harder surface. And also if you have like weird, like other stuff on your table, you might get stuck and you know, whatever. This protects the back. And the main thing is that it also keeps it, um, keeps it from bending. So what you're gonna need is you need painter's tape. So I got some painter's tape here. And all painter's tape is, is just tape that's specially designed to go um, like in the edges of walls where you can paint over it and then peel it off. So the adhesive is actually not that strong. So the only thing you wanna do at the beginning is make sure you're lined up nice and square on whatever your surface is. Cause what you're gonna do Okay, that's probably good enough. I'll have to just eyeball it. I notice this is thicker than up here because what I'm going to do, let's have a slight angle. I have a little bit of double-sided tape here. So I kind of do a Dupron approach. One is I, I take some double-sided tape and this helps with the initial lay down. So I just take some double-sided tape and I, I put it down here. There's a bunch of other ones from my previous painting, still sticky. And this is helpful. This helps get things situated. So there's a couple bits there. Now I'm going to lay this down, trying to be as square as I can. Now I'm not, I'm not a measurer. Like when I cook, I just, I go, I just fucking throw spices in and I, I don't, I'm not a measurer. So you probably, my things are never really perfect. So if you're, if you want to make it perfect, don't, you know, measure the edges. But I got a pretty good eye for stuff. Okay. So does that look about right? Okay. Okay. Now the reason why it's important for this thing to be square and or equal distance is you're going to put tape down and you can't see what's underneath it. And it'll become really obvious in a second why this is important. Okay. Well, that's probably Okay. Here's why here's why I kind of like I don't like doing things perfectly cuz I'm you know I don't Pissing me off. Now, take some take some um, tape. You know what you're gonna do is you're gonna put some down 
at an equidistant well, that's probably about right there okay what and what's going to happen is when you paint there'll be a little bit of white showing through there so the re that's why you want to make it as perfect as you can is because you don't want to have these lines that are crooked when you pull it off now again I'm not uh, I'm not the measuring type so they probably will look a little goofy but fuck it fuck it that's just the way I am okay I can't I like to eyeball things there we go okay oh so you look look I can even see Here's a prop. Look how it gets a little thicker and it gets thinner here. That's sort of like some of that. That's that. Like I can see this. I can totally tell that it's thicker here and it's a little thinner here. So I might actually go with it over with a second piece of tape. Because I do, I do care about it. It being good. I just I'm impatient when it comes to measuring. There's something about measuring that just pisses me off. I love getting upset over little things. It's like my, one of my favorite things. Just okay. Oh, I think I could hear myself growling on the internet. Oh yeah, there I am. I got I got to mute the internet. How do I mute it? Okay, I'll pause that. There we go. Okay. All right, Druckmann. So now the problem is this one is. Let's see if I can take it off. I could probably see. This is the nice thing with painters tape. It just very gently peels off. So actually, this one is fucked. I fucked up the first one. Look at that. It's kind of nice to take off. Let's put a new one on. Let me see if anyone. Wants Maybe I'll go like this, I'll go like that. Yeah, it's not exactly perfect. Is this one's thinner? Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, I think I might go back and fix this again. They say measure twice, cut once. That's what I should do, but I don't. I um I cut once, fuck it up, and then I gotta do it again because I'm too impatient. You think you'd learn. You'd think, but you'd be wrong. I hope it doesn't rain next weekend. I'm doing this art walk thing in a park, and I ordered a waterproof tent, but they sold out, so I only have a regular tent. So if it rains, I'm kind of screwed. They're not waterproof. I was really annoyed. I was like, what? Come on. It costs 300 bucks plus tax to rent a tent. The waterproof tent is 300 bucks plus it costs 210 before tax to rent the grids. So just to, just for two days to rent the base equipment, and that's not even including the other stuff. You got to get weights, you got a table and chairs and shit. So I'm going to spend 530 bucks just to rent the equipment. I think it costs about 500 bucks to be in the show. So just even sh for me to show up to this event on the weekend, it cost me a thousand bucks. Something like that. Probably cost more. Oh, it cost more. I just went and got some paintings framed. Ah, son of a bitch. That cost me about 600 bucks because it's... So just to break even, I gotta sell. You son of a fucker! I gotta sell. Just to break even, I have to sell fifteen hundred dollars worth of paintings, just to cover the costs. Um, and that's actually not even true because you gotta pay taxes. And it is a cost of material, so probably I have to sell more more than two thousand bucks just to break even. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how fast I can go broke. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh, it's fatter over here. But you know what? Fuck it. Who cares? All right, so if you were to really do a good job, I know it's crazy, eh? Yippers. Yep. Someone had offered me, I think, 200 bucks for one of my, like, smaller paintings the other day, and I was, like, doing the math, and I was like, okay. So, you know, it worked out to be, like, some, like, some ridiculous, like, I don't even know if I made money on it, because I had to, you know, framing, framing that, for that painting was, I think, was, like, 70 bucks, you know, just to get it framed, it was 70 bucks. Okay, all right, quit yapping. Okay, let's just do, are we on a focus? Okay. All right, so it's not the greatest kind of... Not the greatest kind of thing. You know, you know, it's crazy too. Like, you know, if I'm, when I used to be a fancy executive, I'd fucking, you know, I'd make that, like, I'd make tons of money. Wouldn't have to even think about it. Okay, look, that's, that's kind of fucked up over here. Like, you go to a dentist and, you, and you're like, you'll spend 300 bucks without even blinking an eye, right? Well, for those for those of us that don't have a dental insurance, you go and have a checkup, and you just drop three hundred bucks. Actually, I have to have a root canal, but I can't afford to get a root canal. I've got like a I've got like a dead nerve in my tooth, which is causing me to sneeze all these for like more than a year. But I can't I can't afford to get a root canal, so <clears throat> I'm just gonna suck it up. Suck it up. Okay, now that's good. So if you're not a moron like me, you would have measured this and you wouldn't have had to like redo it a few times. Now that I've got a nice edge around it, that's this is what you want. Pay to play is such a sick of it favors. Oh yeah. Yep. That's the way it is, isn't it? So okay, so for this thing, here's what I want to do. I want to do something that's more than just like a little painting, if you know what I mean. I want to okay, I'm gonna do landscapes, which I enjoy. I'm gonna do like uh, let me just talk for a minute here. I'm I gotta talk this thing out for a second. Okay, so I want to do things that are beautiful, so that you know people will actually buy them. But I also my ultimate goal is to make art, you know. And I you know no one knows what that means. And that's that's not going to be just going to be pretty landscapes all the time. It's going to be something that's a bit more challenging. And the thing that I have a huge problem with is art that's just shocking. You know, it's just you know I could totally do a bunch of women that are obese that are that are dead because there's a couple of very famous painters right now, and that's their thing. They, you know, they, they they draw these women who are massively obese and they're beautiful and but they're also bloody and bruised and some of them are literally like they're dead with their eyes you know like this open and i'm like fuck it's just okay you're a good painter but it's just shock value and it it pisses me off because it's like ugh, it feels so attention grabbing shallow you know and it's very ah oh, it just pisses me off and i feel like man is that what i have to do like so but i'm just you know I've stuck with my guns for 30 years not doing that shit. And I've, the weird stuff I've done is I never intended to show anybody. And I've done tons of things that are fucking weird. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At least, well, with Bacon, though, at least I think he was, like, one of the first, sort of. And, like, I've, I follow a bunch of Facebook people for a while, artists, too, and they're just doing exactly his stuff. You know, it's the same thing with faces all blurred out and thing. And, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. But I don't know, like I'm trying with every single brushstroke to make art, you know, like every little thing. <sighs> but I just, 
I'm, I'm digging, digging deep to try to like do something that has like that's true, uh, you know, that has value, but it's not just shock. And uh, and the thing that I, the reason why one of the reasons I stopped really trying to do this, when, like when I was t- like. 1995 is because I felt like we had already art had already gone and experimented with so many courses that there wasn't you, to make something original new like so much was already done right like like you look at the history of art and then all the art movements and stuff and I was really fucking when dadism came on I knew okay we're just pulling at straws when modern and postmodernism came in and we have people like fucking what's her talentless yak hack uh, what's her this yoko ono like when people think that yoko ono has talent or is worth listening to it's just like if i, I couldn't eat my own vomit to like be that interested in that stuff it's just it's so obviously obnoxiously crap so much postmodern stuff and people are just like fall along and that bugs me. Like I want to see true mastery and talent at at a core of something, and you can have a message, and you can. So <laughs> you like my? I like to I tend to like. <laughs> this is how I think, man. And the reason why I don't talk to art about anybody is because I have such strong opinions about it that you know, <laughs> uh, it's just it's very so. How do I, how do I, some jackass sitting here with this thing here, do something that's going to have any kind of value? Like, that's what I want to do. Something that has some sort of value that, that's not just doing it a shock. Because I, uh, you have a big mic. Uh, this is just a uh, foam thing. All, all mics. Bonard is great. Bonard! Okay, the the, the post impressionist Bonard, I f- Bonard, hmm, he's not bad. He's not bad. He's kind of okay. Here, let me let me show. Let's talk about Bernard for a second. Okay, let me go to my desktop. Desktop, go to Bernard. Make sure I'm talking about the right guy. So he, if we're talking about the same Bernard. He's like um a, like a post impressionist. In the same vein as like coming along from Matisse and those guys, he he comes out. I think the Fauvist movement. So his stuff is very bright color. Yeah, his stuff is okay. So I kind of like this this stuff. But here's the thing. Yeah, Pierre Bernard, this dude right here, right? Yeah, I kind of do like his things. I do. I enjoy it. It's all right. But here's the thing. I can't do it now though. Someone's already fucking done it, and this is done like a hundred years ago. Whenever he was like, was it the twenties? I don't even know when Bernard came along. Maybe even earlier. So here's a problem I have. I do enjoy this stuff. But what do I do if it's already been done before? You know? Uh, it's kind of... this. It was always depressing to me because I don't want to just be a follower. I just don't want to do what somebody else has done. Look at this. Look at the difference in the reproduction quality. This one versus... Is this the same painting? No, it's different. Okay. Exactly. That is the inspiration he affords. Yeah, fuck. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, I do, when I look at this stuff, I look, I like the difference in shapes and it's interesting and he's not being perfect. And I totally would do this, but I would just be doing what somebody else has done. And that's, uh, that makes me so sad because uh, I would love to do this. Yeah, Bernard's actually, I, I was thinking of, of somebody else. Another post-impressionist who does a lot more shit that's more like Rodin. And I'm not a huge fan of Rodin because he's very birthday cake-like. It's very, very Hallmark card pretty. But I like some of the stuff. Some of the, Yeah, some of the stuff is good. That's not bad. So I don't know. Yeah, this is the stuff I don't like. I can tell you exactly why. It's because they used a colored background and it's fauvist. And I think, here, let me show you. Here's how I knew. Here's my new fast website. I'm so excited. Look, it's blazing fast now so if i do this you don't need to you already have something that materializes now i don't know i'm not quite sure check this out okay so i have to, i had to eliminate all my categories um because this because the website problem but look how do you do okay i'm gonna choose self they're still hidden here self portraits and I remember I did, I, I, I like, I looked at, I played with Fosum, you know, 
And like, for example, here is this Fovis thing. So 17 years old. I was 16. I had to pick one. I don't know exactly when it is. So I always picked the later age. It was 87. So 16 and 17. And I was like, fuck. This is a self-portrait. And I was like, okay, I officially fucking hate Fovism because the colors are stupid. They're all too, too blazingly happy, silly. And I remember loving it. Sorry, mostly hating this thing. <laughs> So it has the same kind of vibe to it, which is uh, stark white or flat colors in the background with very intense bright colors blocked together. So I figured that shit out pretty early. But all right, eh? There's another, there's someone out who I'm thinking of. Is it Pisario? P-I-S-S-A-R. Maybe it's Pisario I'm thinking of. Yeah, this is the one I, I thought you meant. See, if you look at his stuff, it's much more uh, individual little painterly dots and i actually had an obsession with doing this kind of painting check this one out i was obsessed with kind of like stippling what's the what is not stippling look at this this is pretty good look look for let me show you this This is pretty good for a for a 14 15 year old it's called enough because <laughs> even back then i was like Everything was always too intense, and and, and you just, I just wanted people to just to fucking back up. I like that for for a fourteen fifteen year old kid. That's pretty good. And then I did this one, so I tried like I tried young experimenting. So this was like very expressionist. Look at this thing, and I was fourteen or fifteen, and it was it's called mirror. So those are my hands. You know, if I click this, it'll show the whole thing. That was my hand. It was just imaginary. My hands against a mirror seeing like the devil inside of myself kind of thing. So there, there's a little bit of Francis Bacon up in there, isn't it? I was, I did shit when I was young. Man. Fuck yeah. I played with stuff. Look, <laughs> this is my first portrait, self-portrait I ever did. It was, it was like surreal <laughs> when I was 11 or 12. Fauvism. My God, do I not like Fauvism. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something more like, like just now, I was thinking about doing something more like this. I actually like this kind of stuff. This is very much me. And I remember I remember literally doing this. And if you look here, there's like stippling in the hand. And that's my right hand. Because my right hand did everything. And this is my right hand here. Uh, see right now with my website oh I, I even like like this kind of stuff like so it's not going to be like revolutionary or greater or anything but this was this was me and this was i like how i even have my pubes down here <laughs> my actually legs are, are you aren't even i'm not even hairy like this i'm like blonde can't be, but this was my girlfriend at the time and i was drinking a cup of her that's pretty cool. And this was actually a beautiful moment. I remember we were up north and this is like one of my favorite moments of my life. She was, it was like a fall day and she threw those um, pine cones, whatever, the bulrushes and the little fluffy white things flew down and she was spinning around and all these little fluffy white things were falling down. And I took this picture of her and it was like one of the most loved moments I've ever been and I, and I wanted to drink it again. So it's called the drink. So I did this. I was 23. And I was remembering that. One of my favorite moments of my life. So. I even, I, what I like about it is I even like how. Like, look at the body. Isn't that cool? Cat tells me. Like I just freehand drew this thing. Look how I even did a bit of my like back then I was pretty slim, but I even said a little bit of a little bit of a belly bending. And look at what my arm is. Isn't that fucking awesome? And look at the hand. That's that's really cool. Like that is not that that is how I looked like back then. Ah, it's just so depressing to think that. Oh yeah, I like this one too. This is a good self portrait. I like this. <laughs> look at my nipples. Burp, burp. That one looks like it's even off. I like how it's weird and elongated. I think what I did is I looked at my hand like this, and then this. Or, or like, I'm not sure how I got this hand because it's actually my right hand. So I did it correctly. That's weird. I wonder how I figured that out. Maybe I had a mirror. Yeah, I must have had a mirror for this hand because that's actually my thumb going down, which is right. Let's 
All right, I'm just sort of stalling now. I'm just so excited about the fact my website's so fast. I've always loved this one, which most people don't like. Or this one's kind of funky. This one is on a piece of wood. It's on plywood, and it's 12 inches by 48 inches. And there's all these little things. This is just a photograph of a photograph, because I can't remember where the original is. But if you if you were to look closely, which you can't see very well, there's a, this is my face. So that's actually a painting of my face with a beetle in the eye. I remember there was a frog over, oh, there, there's a spider. There's a spider here. And yeah, and there's a frog eating something right here. There's a frog eating something. And this was a city and it was, yeah, man. Will you make me a website for all my art? So good. Dude, I just used that. Uh, well, I spent a shit ton of time figuring this stuff out. This is a WordPress theme. So you could, um, I don't recommend using this theme because I sp the developers honestly haven't applied back in weeks and weeks. And I actually had to say, screw it. But um, these days, you can make it yourself. Yeah. So I've done a lot. I've done a lot of stuff that's freaking weird. Okay, if I actually, I'm gonna see. I gotta rebuild all the all the categories so you can actually find stuff. But I think it's fantasy. Okay, I'm just. I wonder. <laughs> fantasy horse i remember doing this <laughs> i remember this was on canvas that was just loosed like rolled around i was 12 or 13 <laughs> fantasy horse <laughs> oh hey i remember uh i was just looking at this yesterday or the day before okay animals this is even back when i was a kid i felt this way um so check this out I was 13 years old, and I wrote down non-traced, no picture, which means I drew this horse from just memory, okay? And I remember thinking, yeah, that actually looks like a horse. And I remember thinking, holy fuck, you're 13 years old, and you, there's something about a horse's shape that's majestic. I know this is not a great drawing, but I remember thinking that I'm looking at it in my mind, and I remember thinking, okay, I'm not tracing this because everyone was tracing stuff. And it was like, oh, where's your skill there? And I remember, okay, I'm going to write this actually down. So I actually wrote wrote it down. That's that's how long how long my life I felt like it's so easy to cheat with art. That so much art is crap. Like Glenn Close is the first guy who did this photorealistic stuff. I think his name, name is Glenn Close. And I saw it when I was probably, I was pretty young at the Art Gallery of Ontario. Maybe it's not. Uh, no, it's, I'm gonna do photo. Uh, photorealistic. If, is it Glenn Close? Ah, whatever. Anyhow, I knew as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, that's cool, but it's just a neat effect. And now it's like so popular, and people love that shit. And I thought for, I, I thought, you know what? Let me just ex try to do some. This is the one painting I thought, okay, let me just try to do, make it really realistic. And so I didn't really do super good of a job, but the frog is pretty realistic. And this was gouache. And I was 22, and then literally it was, this was a sculpture I think by Michelangelo from a book, and this, and this is actually a cutout. That's not a, I was so annoyed with photorealism, and this is like my private thoughts, which I never told anybody. I was so pissed off about people getting attention for doing realism that I said, I'm gonna paint this thing, and then I'm gonna gonna put a cutout of a clam that's not a painting next to it. Oh yeah, Glenn Close is the actress. Dan Close? There's one painting where I remember he even had, he had glasses. Where, uh, <laughs> that's Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> Excuse me. No, it's not Dan Close. Okay, it doesn't matter. Chuck Close, I think that's it. I think Ch Chuck Close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is the painting. I think this is the painting that I saw. No, is it? It looks like it. I remember he had glasses. And it was like the first photorealistic painting. And it was at the Art Gallery of Ontario. And as soon as I saw it, everyone was blown away. And I was like, oh, fuck. I could do that. And I was like, a, I was cocky as fuck. I was probably... 
I was probably like 12 or something when I saw it. And I was like, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. You're no Van Gogh. You just had a photograph and you've meticulously looked at all the little details. You probably drew a little grid so you can make it all perfect. And you used a bit of a, you know, blurry shit. And so, oh, man. So I was like, okay, I could do that. I proved it to myself. And from then on, I was like, fuck it. I'm not going to do realistic stuff. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do weird, goofy shit like this. <laughs> Look at this goofy. I always never liked this one because it looked too silly. But that's me underwater. And that was my girlfriend, the girl I loved or I couldn't quite touch because I guess we're on a break, broken up or something. If you look here, there's actually a path where I'm never exactly touching her. And I'm sort of drowning, but she's in her natural envelopment. Oh, I remember because we were we had broken up and she went to Thailand and she was telling me about how she was diving and she was so natural underwater diving and she was always like gold we got to back together so I was, I was always in love with her but that was that was like this is the kind of shit that i would do i never show anybody and not know if it's any like you know it's never going to be considered great art or anything <laughs> i'm just going back in time this is when i get younger and younger <clears throat> like this is probably yeah that's like nine years old I still have about a hundred or two hundred more pieces that I've done when I was a kid. It was kind of fun to go through these things. Like some of them are kind of cool. I remember experimenting with a style where I would do uh, as a line came together, I'd do darker and then lighter. So I was thirteen or fourteen when I was into this thing. Here, I think, and I would sort of like. This one, I remember blending them together. So there's a cat here, and on the side is like a fox or something. Oh, yeah, cat and fox. Holy shit. So I was 13 or 14, and I remember just screwing around. I think this might be another animal here. I don't even know what the hell it is. Just goofing around, experimenting. Oh, yeah, here's another one where I just... I remember kind of liking it. Like I had tons and tons of these little sketchbooks. This is only three and a half by four by seven. It's a little sketch. And I, I did. I have a whole bunch of these sketchbooks. I tried taking pictures of most of them. Oh, this is not a good drawing, but this is this is this is a this is. Oh, I'm gonna start crying, man. I had a dog that I loved. I grew up with, and this is oh, this is the stairs my parents' house looking down. It was the night before my dog, we had to put her down. It says, night before English exam, she's going to die, which is the night before. <clears throat> this is the stairs. You come downstairs, there's like the landing, this is the floor, and that was her. Wow. Didn't expect to see that. There's my dog. <laughs> okay, I'll tell my crazy story. This is my this is a true story. This is my crazy alien abduction story. So here's my here's my crazy alien abduction story. When I was a kid, I used to find myself around my house with my dog. That's right, I used to I used to wake up in the middle of the night. And I used to find myself sleeping with around my dog. This is my dog. She was with me since I was a kid, since two years old. So I was 10 or 11 when I did this. This is her. Anyhow, there's one more. I think one more drawing I've done of her. This one here. That's that's her. Look at this. This is good, man. For a 14, 15-year-old, this totally captures that part of my, my grandparents' cottage with my dog. That's exactly what she looked like. Just with a bunch of fucking dots. That's good, man. Fuck, fuck everybody. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Anyhow, I used to uh, wake up like three in the morning and I'd be like lying on the floor in the by the kitchen back door <laughs> on a, on my with my nog with a mat, whatever. Anyhow, this is an absolutely true story. I think it was. Let me go back to that picture because this is exactly where it happened. This is kind of freaky. 
This is like the first floor, and that goes into like a living room. And if you come up here, there's stairs that go around here. And my I lived my bedroom was up here, so there's a landing right about here. Anyhow, one time, I I think this was when it was around eighty five, so a year before she died. I think she was about fifteen or maybe fourteen. I don't remember how old it was. To be honest, I could have been ten, but I can't remember what age. Anyhow, I remember waking up right here on the floor uh, on the landing. There was a carpeted landing there, and. This is basically what I woke up to, except she was facing the other direction. Her head was, her face this way. And she opened her eyes, and this is, I'm going to tell the story. One second. And she opened her eyes, and bam, they were fucking giant Spider-Man eyes. Like, straight up alien fucking eyes. Let me, let me tell you what I mean. Uh, Spider-Man eyes alien. I'm just going to Google that. Spider-Man eyes alien. They were black. They were pure black. This is, yeah, this, this. Okay, I gotta, I gotta explain this a bit more here. They were like, kind of like that. Yeah, they were like these fucking eyes. But they were, I remember pure being pure black without the white, okay? Woo! Oh, sorry. This, this, these were the, this is what her eyes, she opened her eyes and they were bam like that. Okay. And then a second later, I woke up. I first was a dream and then I woke up, but I was lying right there on the landing right next to her. So the first moment it was like, I thought I woke up and saw her and her eyes opened and there were these big fucking alien eyes. And then I woke up again, and I was there. So it was crazy. And here, and um, and it was like in the middle of the night, and you know, and I was sitting there going, "Wow." So here, here are my thoughts. I, you know, I don't believe it was an alien abduction, but if there ever was truly an alien abduction, it would have made sense for them, like you know, the aliens to pro had projected the thing that I trusted the most would have been my dog. Because I used to, like, I loved my dog. Like, since the age of two, I was everywhere with that dog, right? I used to sleep with the thing. And uh, so imagine that. If they, I don't think it's real. I don't think it's true. I think it was just a trick in my mind or whatever. But that was a pretty crazy experience. Oh, and the biggest thing was, this is back years before, first of all, the internet didn't exist then. In addition, um, this was years before I had any knowledge of, like, these alien, gray, alien eye things. Like, this is... But like they, they, this was not common knowledge nowadays like that these these freaky kind of black eye things so man and and i was like inches from her face when those when the eyes appeared and then seconds later i woke up and there she was and uh that drawing was like very similar to how close i was to her wow <laughs> I've never told him publicly, but I've, everything I'm saying here, I've never told anyone before, like uh, like publicly. I might have told like a best friend or something like that, but okay. I don't even know. Is this thing even still on? Who knows? I can't even tell. Okay. I think this is from Jonathan Livingston Seagull. I think, let me see if I can find that. Jonathan... Spelled it wrong. Oops, no. I kind of recall, I remember reading that book and really, really liking it. And there was something sad about it too. Like, so let's see if I can find that. So let's see if I can find that. Because that looks, I mean, I haven't really thought about this in years and years. Like, because I don't think I would, like even that weird little tail thing. That's a very nice drawing, isn't it? Pretty good for a 14, 15 year old. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous, man. So here's the thing. I knew I had this thing when I was young and I just stopped trying it. Like I got so much attention from it. I got so much attention from, from doing art that eventually I stopped because I didn't, because I, I thought people only were interested in me because of this art stuff. 
Look at that. It's, see how there's like light? This looks very similar. See how there's like light coming through the edges here? That's that's probably look how similar this is. That's interesting, eh? Oh, that's so similar. I don't know. This, there's no way that could have been the same photograph because this looks... No, there's no feet. It's a different... But it's the same type of bird, I guess. Is it a seagull? I didn't think seagulls had tags. Anyway. All right. Uh, kind of... What should I do? Well, I'm just building myself up before I jump into this painting. Oh, this is my parrot. I had a parrot, Af my African Grey. I did two paintings of, of her. It turned out to be a girl. This is a little... I loved Moses. She was so good. She used to talk to me. She used to sp say my name and call me and speak. She had all kinds of... Speak all kinds of stuff. These are just animals. All right. This painting is right behind me, and I still don't like it. There's something about this. See, look at this. Oh, look. See those little people here at the bottom? That's that's what... Uh, that's what these little people are. Actually, I just have it right next to me. Cause I was, oh, fuck shit balls. Because I was thinking about painting over it. I just don't like the composition, but see those little people? Whoa. That's what... That's what these guys are. <sighs> I haven't touched this painting yet, have I? <sighs> hmm. I'm going to close this website. There we go. What time? Like I've been just talking for all this time, and I haven't even touched anything. I've been talking for two hours. Is that? Oh no! I just never mind. Never mind. All right. I'm just closing all these browsers. Well, what am I going to do? I'm building up to doing something. Maybe I'll listen to some music. I guess maybe it's got like an auto shut off or something. There we go. Can't hear anything. Where's the uh, music? <sighs> Let's try this. Is it not playing? Come on, man. How do you? Is there like a mute button or something? Is that mute? Well. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. All right.
come on, autofocus. There we go. You are my angel. From way above <laughs> right that boy what should I do Love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Okay, I already see. Look at this. Look at this. There's a face here with his arm. Looks like his. I can't, oh shit, I should have drawn my left hand. Let's do a big, I'm gonna have to. It's almost like super punch. I listen to that song again. You are my angel, come from way above. Okay, fuck, I love this song. I'm going to play it again. Fuck you, I'm playing again. You are my angel. I have all these little... These little, like, uh, folds of skin that kind of... I don't give a fuck if it's not perfect. Let's just fuck it. There's a line there. Fuck you. All right. Let's put another color in. Oh, my angel. From way above, where's black? I need black. Yeah, I'm really drunk, man, right? I don't even drink. She's on the dark side. Leave July, man inside. I forgot about that other finger. <laughs> Mm 
Here, listen to this music, man. Can you hear it? I should do my own face there. Well, that's not very good, is it? wrong color. I need some good yellow. I have blonde eyebrows, don't I? <laughs> Do I want to try to like make it kind of realistic? Like I could paint all the little proper folds and stuff. I could. Look at that. Isn't that neat where the, there's light around the tension in my finger? Like if you look here, there's, the blood is being pushed away from the edges. So I, I could do that. I could. I, li I like messy. It's definitely my preferred way. Love you, love you, love you. Love you. you are my angel. <clears throat> Come from way above. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't want to, uh, lemon, wow, wow, got some lemons from the soliloquy. <laughs> Come from way above. What if I did something? Dark. No. Let me put some blue. This is going to be just by my eyeballs. Kind of blue. Kind of blue. Let's just see. You are my angel. Come. From way above, seems nice 
No, I can't explain. I don't want to explain. You're breaking me, breaking me out of my mode, man. I gotta turn this fucking shit off. <clears throat> you are my angel. Oh, is that purple? Did I even? I didn't mean to do purple. Fuck off. It's kind of nice, actually. I wanted black. I think it'd be cool if the black went off here. <laughs> yeah, that'll look good. There we go. That's white. From way above. <laughs> what are you, 14, Joe? Re? It's okay. You're probably just some young little punk. Young whippersnapper. Doesn't know shit about life, you little whippersnapper. That's okay, Joe. I'll forgive you for being... For being young. You <laughs> come on, you could do better than that. Give me a good insult. Drunk man, it's too obvious. You are my angel. Okay, I didn't, it was good a minute ago, then I kind of fucked it up a bit, didn't I? Should have drawn my left hand, because I don't have to keep on switching over to try to figure out how to make it. If I did red. Come on, Joe. Give me some good insults. That's a drunk man. Anybody can say drunk man. I need something. You can't fuck it. I know I can't fuck it up. How could you fuck something up that's already fucked up? Right? Exactly. That's the first sensible thing that you've said. You are my angel. Okay, so it's kind of like... Uh, let's make it... I'm trying to... I want to add a little bit of element of, of being intentional. But mostly just... Something that's just awful. It's like this big fist coming around, but it's no, I don't like I don't like that part there. Let's just Kind of me with that one time my brother knocked me out. accident he punched me but not clipped my chin and totally knocked me out by accident we were playing the punch game and uh i wasn't paying attention drunk man from drunk land oh man what are you like 12 yeah you're probably like 12 one time i was talking to somebody and i totally forgot that there's like anyone of any age could be on this thing and it turns out it was like some 15 year old kid or 13 year old kid I was like uh oh oops I'm just so used to talking to older people because of, cause of uh, Facebook but it's okay
Drunk man from drunk land. Man, I wish I liked drinking. I, I drank like anybody else you did, but then I just got bored of it. it. Doesn't do anything for me anymore. I like being a grumpy old man. That's kind of fucked up. Drunk man from drunk land. I kind of like that. I kind of like it. Can't. <clears throat> okay, here's my goofy hair. Fist comes from I don't know I lit I don't know if you just saw I just I just did a bunch of squiggly lines because I was just doing whatever my hand took me and then I noticed it looked like a fist and a and a face so I just I just went with it I just thought I just uh. Just one with it. Face, of course, the face is fucked up. Yeah, that's the best part about it. So a couple things I could do is I could now go in and try to make the lines slightly more realistic. Or I could just keep it messy as hell. Oh, maybe this hand, you know, this hand, it looks like almost like it's like doing this. But you'll never know. It's too late. I can't quit. Okay. Feels like a mountain ready to punch me in the face. A little bit, isn't it? Yeah, it was kind of like, it looked like some sort of crazy uppercut, kind of like, but it's weird. It doesn't even make sense, does it? It's like it's all fucking strange and well, that's totally the whole point of this is just, just to make It's not supposed to make sense. That's the. We got to get the face to the museum. We gotta get the face to the museum. I don't know what that means. Sorry, Joe. I don't. I don't want that guy in my house. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry. <laughs> That's me. You don't want my damn ugly mug in your. This is not. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just messing around. It's just good to mess around. I can see how this is all like the pers the things are all wrong, but. 
I don't want the guy in my house. <laughs> That's okay. That's good. That's fine, man. You are my angel. Hmm. Well, then it's worse than I found. Sorry, bud. I just don't understand what you're saying. I, what does that mean? Then it's worse than I found? Is that FOD? I think you just got a typo there, bud. It's worse than I thought. I think he meant found. It is kind of a screwed up kind of hand, isn't it? If worse than I felt. Sorry, Joe, I just, I wish I understood what you were saying. Is ye mean yes? Hmm. Hey, Joe. Where you going with that gun in your hand? Going down to shoot my old lady. Down to mess around with another man. Hey, Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? So do I want to? Magic marker. I don't, need, I don't want to make it look too, I don't want to make it look messed up, I like that. Okay. I think, maybe. Oops.
Yeah, it's getting a little better. It's getting. I like how it's just so unusual, isn't it? Where's that top? Oh, I know what I do. I'm gonna put a shadow. So that if this is my arm going like this, I think I need um. First of all, I need a, a chin. I need a darkness there, and I need. if this is the kind of shadow. What if you don't fuck it up? <laughs> I don't even. I can't, this, is, this is perfection. You can't fuck up perfection. Come on, man. You are. Oops. Are my angel. Why is it so dark? How the hell did you get it fucked up? <laughs> That's funny. That is good. You're getting better. You're getting better, Joe, my friend. You're improving. I like it. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, Joe. Okay, let's just pick one. I gotta do. Ah, oh, shit. One hand, one there, and one there. <clears throat> what would we call this? How the hell did you get it fucked up then? I don't know. It's a very good question. Hey, let's take some of this acrylic paint. Let's add, just slop it on there. Look at that. Disgusting. All right. Well, that's getting kind of good. That's pretty, pretty good times, if you ask me. What if I just did that? She 
She's on the dark side. Why don't we just, I think probably they were done, Matt. Oh, are we done? <sighs> to be honest, my stomach hurts. I think I gotta eat some food or something. Possible. I have a reason watching you, everyone else's. Uh, stupid uh, D Live always cuts off the text, that stupid chest. I have a reason watching everyone else's. They're on the. I, I think it says doing art on their computer. Yeah. Here, let me just see if I can see what you wrote, Joe. Oh, fuck. I'm going to paint all over my table. This stuff really doesn't come off well. Did Joe say? Joe says, I can't. Oh, wrong window. Come on. Come on, window. I have a reason watching you. Everyone else is making their art on a computer. I know. Yeah, why? Why would you make art on a computer? That's okay. That's okay. I just like, I just like traditional things. I like the hands-on stuff. Mostly because I've been working on a computer my whole life it's kind of fun to go back in and just make it with uh you know what i think what about some flesh tone i think a little bit of flesh tone might be warranted just a little bit like maybe just like dot Oops, problem. Okay, I gotta take a break. Thanks for watching. Oh. <laughs> Take your break with a nice milkshake. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love my tummy. Yeah. All right. Listen, uh, Joe, I want you to work on your insults. You can do better. I want to hear some outrageous shit coming out of you. Okay. I know you. I know you can do it. Like, for example, you're a giant fat old bastard. That might work. Okay, here's a bit of... Oops, my hair isn't red. It's kind of like this coppery kind of stupid brownie sort of. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, let's just leave it there. Let's just... All right, that's good enough. That's good enough. Although, one little bit of flesh tone. Where's that flesh tone color? Is it this one? Nope. It's too... Well, I could sculpt it a bit. I could sculpt it a bit. Like...
trying to press it down. Was it coming out? Okay, I'm almost done. Almost. I just gotta. All right, I'm gonna take a break. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got nice in my tummy. <laughs> that's better. Nice stream, you fat old man. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I promise that in real life, you wouldn't say that to my face. Because I'm a big fucking fat old man. That would crush you, crush you like a bug. Uh, uh, okay. All right, I think that's good enough for now. Right hook with the meaty, the meaty right hook. It's it's a, still a shitty fucking hand. I, you know what? I don't care. Fuck it, right? Just fuck it. Just. Pew, 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 pew. I could do. I could do so much better with this, but let's just let's just leave it at this cr weird. I'll put in my collection of weird right hand drawings. Come on. Okay. All right. That old bastard. Ye f ye yeah, fucked up is the best fat people does. <laughs> uh, Joe, you silly little bastard. Okay, that is good. That's we're done. We're done with the weird. Uh, uh, I don't like the shape. I wanted it to make it like a shape like this, which is cool. Like, and uh, it just looks. I'm being lazy. That's the problem. Is I'm being rushed and lazy. I can make this thing look way better. Like it just, it's missing. There's a bit of meatiness. It's missing. It's missing uh, some volume. Where's that paint? Oh, Jesus. It's like it's missing big knuckle up here. It's because I started by making it kind of stupid proportions and then I'm tr struggling to, I couldn't like work on making it more realistic, but then I gotta, there's a bunch of stuff I have to do to make it look more realistic. Okay. Maybe what I need to do is make, maybe I think that might be what's missing. Well, oh, I just made it uglier. If that was actually possible, I made it uglier. Okay. I want this to be darker. It's good when it was. I wonder if this. I need to use this black.
Hmm. Hello. What's up, Mimo san? I'm just wrapping this thing up. Thanks. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I like that purple that much. Let's put some brown to mute that out a bit. Let's see what happens when I just put some brown. That's oh, too light. I need burnt umber. I can't believe I'm wearing headphones. It's not even, there's nothing even playing right now. I just can't touch it because I got so much damn pain all over the place. Wait, gee, violet, that's the same thing. Where is burnt umber? Wait, burnt umber it is, hmm. It's just gonna be bright. Yeah, it's too bright. Mix it with some black. Now at this point, I'm just painting on my fingers. At this point, I'm just painting on my fingers. This old fat makes fucked up art. You've missed a word. You missed the noun. Joe, if you're going to do an insult, you got to do it properly. Let me explain something here, buddy. This old fat what? The noun. Okay, the fat is an adjective. Same with if. Old and fat are both adjectives. They describe a noun, person, place, or thing. So you got to say something like this old fat bastard, where bastard's the noun. That makes sense. Until then, your, your insults are just grammatically incorrect, and they're not going to help anybody. All right? This old fat son of a bitch. That's actually, a, you know, it is a one thing, even though it's multiple string of words. Um, you could pretty much insult any noun. This, this old fat canoe. I mean, it doesn't make sense. There. Well, I forgot bitch. There you go. Now, uh, bitch is a noun. That's okay. You forgot. You're probably like, a, how old are you, man? Hey, Joe. How old are you, Joe? Actually, don't tell me. Don't tell me. No one wants to know, really. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Okay. That's all she wrote. That was kind of fun to do. I, I, you know what? Let's leave it. Let's leave it where the proportions. Okay. So just so we're on the same page here. I could totally do realistic proportions. I can make this fucking thing photorealistic. But I intentionally chose not to. I intentionally like to leave things a little bit sloppy and they don't even make sense. You know what I'm saying? So what does this thing mean? I don't know, man. It's kind of like... I don't know what it means. It means... I think that's the whole point, isn't it? Something came out of me and made this thing. 
And I honestly don't know. It just happened, right? Life is sloppy and doesn't make sense. Exactly. So here's the thing about whenever I do all this stuff, it's like maybe there is a meaning somewhere. Maybe I am being controlled by something that I don't understand. Maybe we all are controlled by something we don't understand. Even poor Joe over here. Joe was a part of creating this. This thing would never have happened if Joe didn't say, didn't jump on board. You know? Maybe I'll call this thing for Joe or something. Maybe I'll call it. Yep, exactly. Maybe I'll call it. I forgot, bitch. Or life doesn't make sense. Hmm. Something happened just now, right? Or this thing, this thing was born. And, and, and no one's saying if it's good or not. Something compelled me to make this fist. And this face, which honestly, you know, when you do art, it's very selfish, right? It's very much about yourself, which is not the worst thing in the world. But I kind of felt that was me and, and I forgot, bitch. It'd be, wouldn't it be, I, I forgot, comma, bitch? Like, if you used to say, we can call it old fat bitch. Hmm. Let me just think about that. Old fat, old fat bitch, old fat bitch. No, no, I, the wrong reason why I don't like old fat bitch is because the problem, like, people might think, like, bitch was used, like, as a fun insult, right? The problem is bitch, I think, you know, has a connot a certain connotation and it just it doesn't sit right. There's something it's gotta be something more like I don't know, what was it? Like there's there's three of us here. Soliloquy, Joe. Oh, so, so sorry, Facebook J Jewett's on, on Facebook. Hey. We call it I forgot bitch. I forgot bitch. I forgot bitch. Okay, I'll think about it. I forgot. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Maybe. Okay. I'll, I'll put it like usually what I do is I like to sit with stuff for a while and think about it. But this thing isn't about forgetting. This thing is about more like danger. Watch out. It's, you know what it is? This is what, this is what I think. It's, it's like, it's like, um, this hand here, th this is like the arm. That's why I put the shadow there because it's meant to be like an arm coming up. And this is a ridiculous hand that's coming to punch you sort of. But look at the face. Look how docile the face is. The face is sort of relaxed and just sort of like out, out, sort of spaced out. But I'll definitely, I'll definitely consider, I forget, bitch. I'm, I'm not crazy about that one. The one just doesn't, it's got to feel right. It's got to flow kind of. It's got to just move bitch away. <laughs> I think of Alex Jones when I ever heard that. Didn't he like do, isn't there some sort of meme with Alex Jones? Move, bitch, get out of the way. I don't even know the real song. I just know that meme. Nope, it's not that it. Something more, I don't know, more watch out f for the chill. Watch out for the chill. Keep it, no, it's got to be more, I think it's even more vague. Like this thing is about, I'm thinking like almost like one word, like, okay, this is not the word, but protection. Something like that. <sighs> Protection's not bad. Because I'm I'm like this. I'm very guard. I'm, you know what? I'm very much like this, which is I'm pretty chill, but you don't fuck with me because I've got a big fist that'll come at you. But for the most part, I'm like, actually, this is this represents me quite well. I'm very much like just relax, whatever. But behind here is like, like I'm not afraid. Fortress. Whoa, that's pretty good. Fortress is pretty good. I like that. Fortress. Fortress. That's interesting. Guardian. No, I like Fortress better. Fortress sounds.
Guardian. Guardian Mountain. Well, the reason I like Fortress because it sounds like, you know, I'm, I'm being protective of myself because I am like that, right? I'm very private. I don't like talking about shit too much. <laughs> Look at that hand. Isn't that a fucking goofy hand? I'm looking at my screen here. I'm looking at it now. Caution. Caution. Caution's not bad. Caution's actually pretty good. Not... Nishapan, not Nishapan. Caution's not bad because there is kind of that yellow and black, and it is kind of like a bit of back off, or I'm gonna fuck you up. Kind of that's kind of the feeling that I can like protect fist, protect fist. That's too literal. I like it, Joe. I like where you're going, but it's too literal. So far, caution feels good because that is kind of like. A bit of that vibe, right? Cautious fortress. <laughs> now you're trying to steal that other person. Like, <laughs> okay, so far I'm kind of digging caution, caution, caution. Because this is kind of like me, which is I'm very easy going, but I have no problem with if people get my face, I have I have like no problem with conflict, let's just say. I'm super, super nice and friendly, but if you cross that line, it's, you're, 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 be careful, man. <clears throat> yeah, caution. I think caution is good. Sorry, I, these are all good ideas. I like them all. Hmm. Caution. Here, let me listen. Let me show you a song I was listening to earlier. That I just, I just feel like playing this song. It's called "Protection" by um, Massive Attack, and it has a bit of the vibe. Not like aggressive, but exactly, exactly. That's 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 very much my attitude. I'm not aggressive, but yeah, exactly. It's like with okay. Um, What's it called? Uh, massive attack. Massive attack. Wait, right here. Protection. Do you guys know this song? I love this song. I was listening to it earlier. Uh, I can't remember. No, I was I was listening to this song when I was doing a little another painting a little bit earlier. Listen to this. This is beautiful, man. Okay, I have to put it on speakers. Skip that. Go to put a higher quality so you can see it. Now, this is about when Facebook, when I start playing music and stuff, Facebook will kills the live stream. But if you haven't seen this video, it's actually kind of nice. I, the video might be a little bit, a little cheesy, which is weird because Mass Attack's videos aren't cheesy. This one's a little bit sentimental. I think it's about like a, a father with their daughter and then things that happen in their daily lives or maybe about protecting your kids or something. But let me just jump right into the music. And that's why I thought because that's the guy with his daughter. I think he's one of the singers of Mass Attack, that guy. It's sort of like you're going into the different lives of people. Oh yeah, she's a third singer in the band. I think she sings a song. So like they're oh yeah, and the weird thing is they're all in weird angles. Look at this crazy lady with her all of her locks. for a few more seconds because yeah just went into the chorus
ocean In front of you The force of the blow Protection I'm a girl Oh man, isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful song. Impenetrable. Okay, these are all really good suggestions, man. Okay, well, thanks for watching me go through this ridiculous bullshit. I, I, I definitely ramble on, ramble on when I'm when I'm doing the painting. It helps me. Still a little wet. What time is it? One twenty-one. Still raining out cold rainy day here see that i used a little bit of a i've been using gouache the whole time which uh is like yeah that's a nice song isn't it man i i've been i've been on a massive attack kick kick recently i used to listen to massive attack when they first came out years ago I oh thank you thanks so this is gouache and then i i this is just a little bit of acrylic paint i Actually, had to th I, I used to use acrylics a lot because they're easy to work with inside. Um, and then I discovered water-based oil paints, which are awesome. So I do all my paintings. I do most of my paintings in oil. But uh, I actually went and bought a whole shit ton of these uh, these gouaches because I went on a vacation. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do some painting. And I bought all these because these are very portable. <laughs> I never did any artwork with it. And then I decided, well, maybe I should start using them. So I started using gouaches. I've done tons of gouaches. It's, it's, it's like, a, it, it's very water-based. So I always have a, actually, I could probably zoom out. And, I'm just basically rambling now. I'm not going to do, I'm, I'm done this painting. So here's like, I got water here. And these are all, my gouaches are all over here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a break. I just want to see. See who's my little friend is over here. Hi, baby. Come here. Come on up. Hello, hello, my sweet girl. How are you? You're such a good girl, aren't you? I'm trying to. Pretty sure my hands are dry. Yep. Oh he is. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. You're such a cutie, aren't you? Oh, look at you. Look how cute you are. Oh, is that you good? Is that you good? Let's see if I can do this. Don't lick my hands. I might have I might have stuff. You can lick my arm. You want to lick my arm? Do you want to lick my arm? I don't want you to lick my hands because I don't know. This paint probably won't be good for you. All right. Take a break with some bullshit milkshake. Yes, I am going to take a break. No worries, I got you. No, actually, your first spelling is right. <clears throat> Joe, B-R-E-A-K is the right spelling. B-R-A-K-E is like the, you know, the break kind of thing. See, I'm just full of knowledge, man. That's why I listen to old fucks like me. Because we know we got the knowledge in the brain. Mean helmet. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it turns out like you're like 50. I'm fucking, I'm almost 50. All right. Look at that. That was cool. All right. All right. I'm going to, I am going to take a break. Maybe get some to eat. And uh, I might come back and, and do some, do something else. You're Swedish. Cool. I got some Swedish in me too. I'm a little bit Swedish. My mom is, is part Swedish. I think that's where I got the, the blonde eyelash, the blonde uh, stuff from. That's cool, man. I've never been to Sweden. I've I, I go, when I was uh, in my teens, I, I got over to Europe for a little bit. I think I got as far as Austria, and I remember I went skiing in Austria in the summertime, and it was super cool. I went to Zurich. Went to everyone goes to Mozart's house. I went to Mozart's house. I would love to go to Sweden. Totally. Yeah, man. Sweden would be awesome. 
You should come. I'm in Canada, man. Canada is very nice too. You should come to Canada if you can get over here. Uh, except we're we're a, such a huge country that, like, um, you got to really plan it out well. It's not like you can drive across. You know, it'd take you days to drive across a country. Like maybe a week. I don't even know how long it would take. One time, my family we did it. We drove from Toronto to BC. They they rented a camper, which is like a. Uh, I don't, know, I don't know, you know, it's like a, you sleep, sleep, well, there were six of us, right? And this shitty little fucking thing, we drove right across, across the place called the Prairies, which was so boring, it was just flat, and nothing out there, we stopped over, there were glaciers, we walked over, I was young, I was really young. Yeah. Hey, Autistic Bot, where you been, man? This is my friend in India, Autistic Bot, he's on um, YouTube. You are late. You missed it. We j I just finished. Actually, I did another. I finished the painting of a hillside here. I finished this one this morning. This is the one I finished this morning. And it's got those freaky little people along here. Kind of dark skies, whatever. And then I just did this one. It was sort of like I did a random kind of slushy, slushy painting. And then... <laughs> turns out to this thing so it's too late sucker yeah i'd love to go to i'd love to go to sweden that'd be wicked man sweden and and denmark and all all those northeastern european countries and also i'd like to go to uh um uh like poland and czechoslovakia it's not called czechoslovakia whatever it's called now uh, I'd love to go like to Poland and Czech Republic, I think. Although I, there's some bad shit going down there. And I've never been to South America, like real South America. Like, I think I went to like a, a girlfriend and I went to like Venezuela. Some, it was, she was like, she was a, uh, she worked, this is a while ago. She worked uh, as a travel agent. So she got us like a cheap place to stay. It was very touristy. It was like, I was going to say Venezuela, but somewhere in the northern tip of South America, there is a well-known resort. I think it's called Atlantis. And I remember they had this giant pool at the bottom with sharks in it. And you, you do there's like a water slide that would go down and then through a tube through the, the like, a, like you could actually walk below. And it was like a giant aquarium. And you would slide down under through where the sharks were swimming and shit. That was that's about as far as South America I've been. Went to Costa Rica. That doesn't really count. I'm thinking more like Chile and Argentina. I'd love to go down to Chile. Um, every Chilean I've ever met were freaking awesome. And Brazil, I've met a lot of Brazilian people, and they are really awesome too. I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm just thinking about because I haven't traveled in a long time. I haven't traveled in years. Because I'm a dad, so like you can't really go. I'm a single dad, so I can't really, can't really leave, go anywhere. It's, so it's been a long time since I've traveled, more than a decade. I mean, I used to travel for business. Like go to, I used to go to San Francisco a lot for Game Developers Conference, which is uh, it was in San Francisco, and then it was in San Diego, L.A. But uh, I live in Japan. That was cool. I'm just thinking aloud now. I'm just thinking about. I've, I've never been to like South Pacific, like Hawaii or somewhere like that. Or I want to go to Bora Bora and Tahiti. Those would be really cool. <clears throat> Maybe when I'm when I'm even older, I'm gonna I want to walk around in one of those little saris, those little dresses things, you know, like like a skirt, whatever. And I'm um, living Bora Bora on one of those. Cool ass little beach things. That's what I want to do. Yeah, this hand is. Eh, I like doing messy stuff like this. I'm actually just waiting for it to dry because <sighs> um, I don't really want to take off the tape. I don't know if you saw this at the beginning. I, I showed you how to put this tape on, painter's tape. And uh, what I like to do is I like to wait till this thing's completely dry before I take it off, <sighs> just because. I can already see, you can't, I don't know if you can see this, but if I, t oh, you're in the wrong view. 
if you tilt it, you can see right here, it's already began to buckle up a little bit. Now, I can see it, it's hard, maybe hard on the camera, because of, because of the wetness. Yes, I lived in Japan for a year, and I've been to Bali, I've been to Thailand, Bali, spent two weeks in Bali, a year in Japan, I visited Thailand for a short time, where are they? I don't know. Does the Korean airport count? No, I think I had to stop over and like um, South Korea. That doesn't count. I'm sure. Wait, I think I might have been some other places. I'm just trying to remember. You're from Thailand? Cool. I was in Thailand when I was coming back from Japan. So this was would have been around 1993 or 90, 94. Around 94, early 95 maybe. Uh, walked around Bangkok for a while and then went straight down to one of those islands like Koh Phangan or something or Koh Phet. That's so cool. I'd love to go to Thailand again. I really, really loved it. So nice. Oh my God. I remember the best food, probably the best food I ever had in my life was, I, I remember my, my girlfriend and I were not into, that's before you were born. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm old. I'm I'm 49, man. So that's that's what we're talking about here. But I remember going to we went we wanted to get away from tourists and stuff, and we said this. Oh my God! I remember it was 20 bucks a night, and the, it was such a fucking amazing. It was this long ass room with like marble floors with a balcony, and I, it was 20 bucks a night. And I remember the main common area was this huge kind of like had these like. One of those like grass kind of things that made the ceiling. And then we went down and there was a restaurant, like a little family little restaurant on the beach. And I remember we had like, okay, I, want, I know it sounds lame, but it was Pad Thai, but it was so incredible. It was so fresh. And I think I thought it was like the best thing I, I think I ever tasted in my life. I couldn't believe it. That's cool. So not Japan. So not Japan. It's from Thailand. That's so cool. Am I saying that's so cool a lot? <clears throat> Not Japan. I love, love the Thai food. The Thai language is pretty crazy, man. It's very, the inflections are all over the place. Hi, baby. Oh, you're so cute. I don't know if you can see this little girl. It's my little baby girl. Oh, is that right? Pad Thai is what makes you <laughs> try to be Pad Thai. Man, it's all about that coriander. It's all about the... F I, I, you know, I don't think I've ever been able to make really good... Oh, my dog loves to lick me. Her tongue is... was just. She sometimes will be licking me. Uh, 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 and then she'll stay here like this. For like 30 seconds. Hi, baby. Look how cute you are. I wonder if you could see if I do the top down. Is that easier? Nuggets. Come here, baby. Her name's Nugget. This is Nugget. Oh, let me just see. There she is. Hi, baby. Look how cute you are. Oops. Come over here. Let's see. She's going to try to come up. Oh, she's on me. <laughs> come here, Nugget. Come here. Oh, this is what she... This is, she's obsessed. She's a golden retriever, so she's obsessed with playing, bringing like the toys to me every, like every few seconds. Over here, let me get it. Good girl. She's gonna bring it right back. You put it in my hand. Right here, baby. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, <laughs> right here. Put it in my hand. <laughs> Thank you, you go get it. There we go. She'll be back in one second. Hi. <laughs> chicken nuggets. Yes, chicken nuggets are delicious, and but also disgusting. Which country is the best food in your opinion? I've never been to Egypt. I've never been to Egypt. I would love to go to Egypt to check out. Okay. If you see the old Star Wars movies, there was one, I think, called Moonraker. What took place like in Egypt and has Jaws as the bad guy with the metal teeth. 
And ever since I saw that, I was like, I have to go to Egypt. So I've never been to Egypt. I'd like to go to Israel, Egypt, Turkey. I heard Turkey is supposed to be freaking incredible. Um, which country is the best food? Well, I don't. That's that's hard, man. I gotta say, Thai is amazing. I love I love Japanese food. I freaking love. Well, some Japanese food. I'll tell you. I got. I hate octopus. Mexican food is awesome too. Yeah, I mean, there's so many good food. God damn, but I mean, look. It's like my one vice is I like to eat. Love Mexican food. You know what? I don't know anything about Swedish food. Other than the disgusting snorboard, whatever it's called, that, you know, the, the fish people eat and they, they do reaction videos to it. I don't know much about my Swedish heritage. I'd love to love to look into that. Okay, I'm, I'm only part Swedish. Just on my mom's side, she's part Swedish. But, uh, yeah. So what, what is Swedish food known for? I think it's kind of like Canadian food. Like, what the, no one knows what the hell Canadian food is. They'll say maple syrup. I'm very excited now about cooking. I love cooking. In fact, I thought about just streaming me cook because I'm a good cook. That's like, I'm, I'm a good cook. I'm, I'm pretty good at art. And I'm extremely good at relaxing. I'm very good at lying down. That's like super, one of my super skills. But I literally thought about I would I would watch a cooking show about me because uh, number one I'd be swearing all the time. It would be it would be like the fucking cooking show where every other word is like fuck shit balls whatever. Because <laughs> I think that would be that would be a mukbang. What's a mukbang? Hey Cairo, canned fish. No, no. Okay, there. Here, let's look at this. This is something you gotta check out. Let me go to desktop. Let me go to. Let's go to. I think it's Swedish. I could be wrong. Yeah, 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 I almost dropped. Oh, I spilled my coffee. Okay, one sec. Is it Swedish canned fish? Hamestranga. Swedish gross fish. <laughs> it's not that. It's. No, it's not. Is it Swedish? The most disgusting, the five most disgusting Swedish foods? I didn't know they had more than five. <laughs> I mean, more than one. Come on. Um, I'm looking for, I need Joe. I don't actually know Swedish. I don't get it. Joe, I thought you said you're Swedish. How can you be Swedish and not know Swedish? How's that possible? Mukbang is people eating in front of camera. Oh, that's it. Strom, stir, st st sir strumming. Okay, this is just, this, check this out. How do you know, how can you be Swedish and not know Swedish? Sir, S-T-R-O. That's it, it's a rotten herring. Okay, there are these people who... Which is the one I saw? Okay. Let's watch the one with these dudes, Magical, Mythical, Morning, and PewDiePie. Now, here's the thing. I actually, I've never watched a full PewDiePie video. <laughs> because I'm 49, why the fuck would I look at a PewDiePie video? But anyhow, this is, this. Is, I've watched these guys because my son was totally into the Mythical Morning Brothers. So I was forced to watch Mythical Morning. Like I've probably seen like a hundred episodes. <laughs> He'd be like sitting on top of me while we're watching Mythical Morning. How can you be swear shit at the first place? I don't know what that means. Okay. And that he is like so that's PewDiePie. Is it Switzerland? This is the after the show. Watch the episode. Okay, I just want to see them eat the thing. Look how small the guy is. Okay, look how small PewDiePie is. He's a tiny little guy. Or maybe these guys are huge. Yeah, PewDiePie is Swedish. Okay, so PewDiePie is Swedish. So it is Swedish. Stromanang. Okay. Look how tiny he is. 
Fuck, I probably have like a giant next to him. Okay, let's watch. The, let's just watch them open it and check this out. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Ew. Oh, dude. You know what? Ooh, that oh, smell! Oh, 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 I'm done. I'm not finished anymore. Oh, oh my god! I'm <laughs> done. All I did was poke a hole it in it. It smells like the worst part ever! <laughs> Look at his face! It smells like somebody pooped their own pants, man! You were excited to eat this? I didn't poop my pants. No! God! I don't no. know it's that. You knew something was gonna happen. Oh, God. Maybe it's from like 1948, we don't know. Keep going. No, listen, here's the problem, guys. I was, no gonna, problem. I was gonna say. You gotta get it out. You gotta get it out. You gotta get it out. Get it out. Listen to me! <laughs> It was bulging. Oh, I this thing had been... <laughs> yeah, it's been... It's, yeah. It fermented in there. Yeah, this is not well. <laughs> I'm already, I'm just, I'm we gotta get that out of the building. Oh my gosh, guys. I wish, oh, we, I wish we, had gagging. Smell, we had smell of vision. Oh my gosh, guys. Ca I wish uh, we had smell do they eat it? Like, I don't feel like, like it popped. It went all in my hand. Oh my <laughs> You're gonna take that home with you. Oh my so, god. Oh god. I couldn't do it. I couldn't eat like something that gross. Let's just let's just skip ahead. I wanna see them eat this stuff. Timer on it. I can't wait. Oh god! It. It's so bad. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? I just took off the can! No, it's not. And do anything now. Yeah. Tomato sucks. Person. Okay. It was pre Let's we need a, we need a force. Force. Did I eat it with pork? Uh, yes, pork. Half of what? Uh, okay. Typically, a Swedish person would eat this and what? Yeah, yeah. Is this from I, uh, Ica, which is uh, it's huge. Very good, yeah. Very... Extra points for <laughs> eating your own. That's Swedish, that's Swedish points. Yeah, I'll take notes of that. Okay, what are they eating? Is that the Strama Stronga murmur? Smelling that other thing. I'm no. just glad to be alive. No, that looks like just... <laughs> Is that? You know what, I think the way to make something like this not take fishy at all is you get like, you get like all right. I'm, I'm gonna have nightmares about it. Do they? <laughs> let's get yeah, to the gross stuff. stuff. Those guys. Yeah. Don't, what the? You eat this, well, well, the all right, yeah, that's a big disappointment. I wanted to maybe eat the really gross stuff. You know what? Maybe I'll try. You're supposed to eat with bread or something. How come? The person from Thailand is giving us all the info when Joe's sitting there from Sweden. Not saying anything about what it is. How can you be Swedish in the, at the first place? Cooking with Dragman, yeah. So I thought about, like, it's crazy. Like, you don't understand. For most of my life, I have been, like, super, super private. And here I am broadcasting to the internet. You're supposed to eat it with bread or something. Well, I just spent a lot of time on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. Well, not, not Shanapan. So what do you do in Thailand, not Shanapan? Are you a student? Are you working? I know autistic bot. You're 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 just a young guy, right? You're you're up late. It must be like three in the morning for autistic bot. You're an art student. Oh, nice. Cool. I went to art school for, oh, you did. So now you're screwed, aren't you? You got your art degree, you're screwed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I did, I tried it. I went to art school for a year and I said, it wasn't for me. <clears throat> so do you hope to be an artist? Is that your goal? Yeah, well. I, I tried really hard when I was like 25. I spent a year painting after after Japan and came back went to Thailand, came back and I spent a year just painting and everything and I couldn't I couldn't survive. I couldn't live. And now I'm trying it again. Oh, it's only 11:14. Well, that's good. I just bought out there in India. But yeah, so not Japan. Well, I mean you never know, right? Like, just don't bank on it. Like, because I've been I've been painting for like thirty years, man, forty years and stuff, and it's only been the past couple of years where I've been really focused in on it. And uh, 
Like I spent, like I didn't, I applied, you know, I thought I was fucking great and everything, but I applied to like, I think I got rejected from eight show, eight public exhibits in a row from 2017, 2018, every single one, they wouldn't accept, I wasn't accepted. And I was looking at some of the stuff they were accepting. I was like, Oh, seriously? Like that, that's like garbage. Like some of the stuff is just embarrassing. Well, so it's, it's hard. It's long, man. I, I gotta tell you, man, I, you know, it has not been easy. You got to have like nerves of steel, let's say. And I've been, so I've been, I've been an entrepreneur most of my life. I've started a couple companies and, and I'll tell you that taught me a lot. I really admire types of art. Oh, thank you very much. You also tried art. Well, I mean, here's the thing, guys, just, just keep on doing it for sure. But I don't, I don't know where art is today, to be honest. I don't know. That's still what I'm trying to figure out is, is how, like, where is the art world? Like, I kind of feel art. I, I'm hoping art's going in a post, postmodern, meaning postmodern, which is all about abstract things and just meaningless and shocking and gross and stuff. I kind of, like, I'm so tired of that. I was tired of it when I was, like, 15. I was tired of it. I thought I was just talentless hacks. Like Yoko Ono, nothing personal. I don't know her, but just every time I've seen her, she makes me cringe. I'm more of an art. I'm more of an art for industry. I'm aiming for animation concept artists. Cool, right on. That's awesome. That's good. I mean, I know some concept artists. <clears throat> I've hired lots of concept artists in the past. But yours like art for art. Yeah, my goal is is definitely art for art. I'm doing this because I want it like to be non-commercial. Well, not commercial stuff. Like it definitely, it's a lot of the paintings and happy stuff I do. Like I can see that being kind of commercial because you know. But like the thing I did today, like I don't expect anyone ever to buy this. I don't give a fuck. I, I did this because I want to do it. You know what I mean? Or you, however, yeah, I like it. This is more the real me. I think, you know, I guess. But uh, yeah, I know quite a bit about concept art. You can see your work, and that's really cool. Thanks. Animation concept art. Yeah. There's lots of art is about perspective. If it's your passion, keep trying to find your tribe. They're they're looking for you too. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say I do it for fun. <clears throat> maybe it's maybe that's just not the right word for me. Like I, you know, I do it because I feel like I like. For me, I've never been a person to talk about feelings. Like, believe me, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm very good at bottling it up, and then I just do, do my art personally. I just hope I'm still doing art like you. When I'm your age. Why would you stop, man? Why would you? Why would you stop? Just keep on doing it. Yeah. Well, this has been kind of interesting. Yeah. I'm doing a uh, outdoor art show next week. And I, uh, I don't did I even say this? Uh, you you rent these tents, and you sh you should get the canvas tent, which is waterproof. I'm studying studying these makes you lost your passion. Well, I'll tell you, man. Like once you leave school, and then real life hits, it even gets harder. So <laughs> get ready for that, man. Oh yeah, so uh, so I just got an email from them saying they don't have the, the the waterproof tents. They only have the regular tents, and I'm like, uh oh, if it rains next week and I'm screwed, because <laughs> I just got all a whole. I got ten paintings framed and they're under glass. They were like on gouache, so they, I had to frame them. So yeah, I'm a little worried that if it rains, you're gonna I'm gonna be in a bit of trouble there. Hey. Not Japan, you got a website and we can take a look at your art.
Not Japan. What's your, you got a, you need to have a website. What? You don't have a website? That's inexcusable. Inexcusable. You need to have a website to show off your stuff. Everything's online. Get on that. Do you have any tips for a 15-year-old? Yes. Don't worry about life. <laughs> that's my that's my advice for you. Don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> my advice for a 15-year-old. Because I think the difference is now you have access to so much information that if you if you, you can get you go down rabbit holes on the internet and you just become stressed out. That just just have faith that everything's gonna be working. Everything's gonna work out, and you'll figure things out. Like um, like uh, honestly, I didn't really know what the hell I was doing until my last year of university. I didn't even really understand what the hell was going on. I didn't really understand my subject until the last year, and I was, and you know, when you're 23. And honestly, I you know, I'm just sort of figuring things out now, and I feel like way more confident about stuff. But I would say that. Worrying doesn't help you. Worrying about things you don't control is pointless and should stop yourself. Every time you start stressing about things that you have no control over, just stop and realize, hey, you know what? Let's focus on things you can do. Um, here, it, Tips for a 15-year-old for how? For being an artist or just life? Because I was sort of like going down the life, the life tangent. I'm talking to Autistic Bot in India right now. Oh, you can't see the chats. What the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> I screwed that up. The chats, oh, I'm such an idiot. <clears throat> the chats only appear on this side. So unfortunately, you probably haven't been able to see all the chats. I wonder if I can make it darker or something. What a drag. So I've been, I've been, um, my artist cartoonish, not painting. I'm embarrassed. Well, you know what? Okay, so I'm replying to uh, up here is uh, the uh, up here is D Live Chat, and right here is YouTube and Facebook. So to not Japan. You know what? Just screw that. Don't be embarrassed. Just give it a shot because at some point you have to sort of like get out there, right? You're just living your life. Yeah, the same with me, Joe. That's that's it. I'm just living a life while I have it. Exactly. Right on. Okay, now down here it says, uh, well, I already don't. Internet is great for self-learning, but YouTube recommends me cat videos and I get carried away. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, I actually, to be honest, I like watching cat videos and dog videos and stuff. I, I enjoy that. Yeah. So, well, that's good. If you're not already stressed, that's great. I'm happy to hear that. I guess because, you know, I'm trying to think about when I was 15 year old, I was like a moody, brooding 15 year old, you know. I'm, I'm going to look at some. I'm going to look at some stuff I did when I was 15 while well, you guys are just, just chatting away. So yeah, I got to go back and figure out how to add my categories back in. Oops. Search. What if I just type in 15? I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click on age 15. So this is what I was doing when I was your age, autistic bot. Oh yeah, I remember these. So this is all the stuff I did that, I've, that I found. So this is this is my left hand. I remember doing this drawing. So it's just a pencil drawing of my left hand. I remember all of these. I remember this one. I thought this was pretty deep for a 15 year old. Look at this. Only time will tell. And it was a picture of this guy. I can't remember who the guy was, but I put, I superimposed a silhouette of my hand and there is these circles and I, would, I was inverting the colors. And I, I can't remember who this guy was. I 
So happy my website's fat. Oh yeah, look at this. This is my like my closet in my bedroom. <laughs> what the fuck? Eh, that's funny. So like football cleats. Uh a couple of blazers. Cause I, I had to I went yeah, there's a belt. I remember this. This is like an IKEA thing. Probably IKEA. Oh, a little check mark. That's because you probably, I think I had to do a certain number of drawings for, for art class. I bet you this one had to do with perspective because look, I can see the lines are all, I used a ruler to make the lines go to a single vanishing point. Maybe that was what it was for. Oh, and this one, yeah, I think I was some of this before. I was really into like stippling and dots. So this was a, uh, I remember this one. This one was acrylic. I was 14 or 15, or I guess it was 15. And I was thinking about Van Gogh and I did all these little swirly little, this is a part of my school. This was like a corner of my school. And I thought this is, I wonder if I could make, take a really boring subject matter and make it look good. So this was just a part of a like, corner of my school looking out the window. And I remember I put a shadow here, lots of these little dots. Um, glamorous some woman i was really into stippling so these are just all little dots oh you want to see dots i got i got lots of dots man this one's dots stippling hotel la casa i tried to find out where i got that from i can't it's been a long time ago Yeah, oh, this was uh, Jim Parkinson when we were in detention together. <laughs> I like this. This is pretty good. That's not bad for a 15-year-old. Look at the light in it. So he was sitting there, and actually he was a very good guy, and he, he never got in trouble, and I really got in trouble, but for some reason we were in detention. And so here's a, we were sitting here. And actually, that's quite good. No matter what age you are, I can just tell. It looks nice. See the shadows? And the way the fingers curl in, that's pretty good. Oh, this is kind of funny. I remember doing this drawing, and then I, I remember explaining it. Oh, yeah. So this was just a little, in my parents' house, was a picture frame of, I think, my parents. And then this was... A reflection of the lamp that was lighting up the scene so I went and, and I did a little drawing so here look, this is <laughs> I don't even know if I spell correctly explanation spelt wrong so this is the picture frame this is the lamp that's the picture Isn't that hilarious explanation of reflection I don't know why I did that I thought it might be I thought when I remember when I was drawing this I thought maybe people might get confused what the hell's going on so I, I did that I think it's on the back of that drawing here's a belt random object belt buckle with dots here's a grip I remember not being happy with the perspective it was just slightly there was something this is actually I remember this head of this thing was was actually okay it was sort of it was like floppy but the overall perspective i remember wasn't right i remember thinking the shadow looked good and this reflections i remember literally being in the art class and the they had it was an art it was school so they had those big white fluorescent like panels in the ceiling and that's what those reflections are wow i just remember this i haven't thought of this i mean this is fucking what year was this 1985 but I remember not being happy with the shape of it. See, I can't even fucking, excuse me, I can't even draw a straight line. I could just see, look how goofy that is. Look how, it's, but I, I was even back then, I didn't really care. Oh, look at the little spikes on that thing. Oh yeah, I'll show you dots. You wanna see some dots? Let me show you some dots. I actually have a category for stippling. Pew! Look at this. These were all done from the age of Okay, my, oh, the first recorded one I have here is when I was about 12, I think. 1982, so I was 11 or 12 years old. This is not totally dots. This is actually half and half. So there's lines. It's my left hand. I always drew my left hand. And these were some flowers that my mom had. And I can't remember what the hell they are. I think I kind of, 
I looked at some real flowers and made the rest up, so they may not even actually exist. So that's the first beginning of dots that I found. I mean, I probably have tons more somewhere. And then I like this frog one. This frog one was pretty good. Uh, yeah, age 11 or 12. And this is a photograph of her. I don't even have the real one anymore. I like that one because the silhouette looked good. But I started getting into crazy dots. I remember doing this, this. I remember doing all of these. This is my music teacher. I hated this motherfucker. This guy was an asshole. I don't know why I did a drawing of like what when was this? What year was this? This was uh when I was 13. Mr. Meekle. God, he was such a jerk. I always embarrass everybody. Okay. Uh where's the million? This one had a million dots in it. I was crazy on this one. This one had a million fucking dots. So I learned how to do linear perspective when I was at 15 or 16. So this is me. I think I'm pretty I think I mostly made up this castle. Like, I don't think these, I think I remember making up these patterns. I, like that swirly shit. I think I remember that being fake. Like just sort of, I think what happened was it was getting so monotonous. I was like, okay, screw it. I'm just going to make up some patterns. So that's why these things are kind of like silly. This might've been more like the real thing, but over here I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just going to, I remember going dot, 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 dot. I pay for a website. Yeah. I pay for hosting. It's not much. Oh, here. Hey, hey, let me see if we're still in line here. Um, I got to go. Thanks for a good stream. Hey, see ya, Joe. So, not at Japan. Look at this. My brother went to Thailand once. He was uh, a medical student at the time. And I was, I think, about 17. And he came back. I think it was with, is it Meta? Medicine Sans Frontier or something, Medicines with Doctors with Borders or something. And he told me about his trip to Thailand. So I did a drawing based on his trip. And I always, I don't know why, but I often put my left hand in there. So this one's 100% dots. And I think this is Bangkok. This was, he told me they rented a Jeep. So that's the Jeep. This is a girl who, some Thai girl. I don't even know where I got it from. Or maybe he took a picture of it. I'm not sure. This was definitely, for, I think, this was like a little kid who's poking out and then this is sort of like part of maybe like Thai like countryside or something but if you look so this is a zoomed in picture of that that eyeball there so you can see it's all dots every little I remember even thinking yeah this is pretty good I remember doing negative space for some of the hairs here see right there is the empty space to make it look like hairs coming down and I remember going dot, dot, dot along the edges here to make it, it, it didn't, the composition didn't look finished. So I added some dots here and I realized after I made it too far to the left, it should have been, it should have been over here. So this is stippling. I was really into that, but I thought you might get kicked out of it because it was, it was Thailand. So I don't know if this stuff looks, yeah, I did. I kind of fucked up my hand a little bit. It looks like the thumb is too narrow, but the hair is nice. There's a whole bunch, like this one, I wish I finished. I really liked this one. This one started out, I was looking at a National Geographic magazine and there were this, this couple who were like farmers or something. And then I remember starting to, to, um, it was mostly dots, but yeah, but, but there is some sketch, some cross hatching. So not all dots, but a lot of it was dots. Like see how I started on the collar and never finished. And I actually remember making her cheek too big and look at his ear too large. And this is where I was thinking, this is more me where it's not quite, it's not quite realistic, but it, it isn't like, sorry, there's realism in there, but I intentionally didn't, um, I intentionally liked making it imperfect. And I actually liked the fact I left it. And these are all, I started doing the vegetation with, these are all dots too. I liked how it's finished. I would do more of this. See, look, the hands look nice. See, look at that. I can't zoom in because it's just a uh, graphic, but. So that was when I was 18. Uh, yeah, I like this one. This one's nice. This is a, I, uh, 
I did a drawing of my left hand in dots and I, and I cut a hole here and somewhere here and I stuck a flower in it and I gave it to my girlfriend at the time. So this is just a photograph of a photograph. You can see how the paper's bent. But what I liked about this one was I loved how the, the skin patterns, I was looking at my hand and even little bits of hairs over here. And I liked the little, little bit of light and fingernails. So that's kind of like when I was when I was doing this one here, and I know the hand is like fucked up and crap, right? But because here's the thing, when I was like 17, this is what I did when I was 17. I kind of figured... I figured stuff out when I was young. I could, like, it's not even realistic. It's stylized realism, right? But I could, I knew I could do photorealistic stuff if I really tried, but I felt like it was just showing off for no reason. So that's why I never did. Well, here's a goofy little sketch. This is from a tiny little sketchbook. Oh, look, you can see the rings in it, right? I remember... I remember, I think I started off with an eyeball and then I added some weird leaves on it and then I just did the grass. Little, little dot. I actually remember the pen I did with this, this little Sienna pen, ballpoint pen. This guy was great. I love this guy. He was he was the principal at my high school. His name was Dick Sadler and he was a really nice guy. This is actually a photograph of a of a brochure or it was like a, it was like a yearbook kind of like printed year. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So I, th this picture up here is just zoomed in version of this. Cause I don't have the original. I actually went after he retired, I went and gave it to him. And, uh, he was like a principal, like my family knew him pretty well. Uh, he died a while ago, but he was a really good guy. Richard Sadler. I remember going to his house. He was probably about 70 or 80 when, when I went to visit him. And he's like, he remembered my family. And I think uh, uh, my parents lived in Cambodia for a while. And this is from, I never finished it. You could see this was all stippling. It started out with a little bit of a line drawing. You could see the people up here. And I never finished it. And these when they're lo like loading a, a boat, these long boats. My parents lived in Cambodia in the jungle for like a year or two so I did a bunch oh actually this is cool I wonder if I could find okay I was 16 when I did that one I did a my first etching I've only done printmaking a few times and there's one etching I did uh, I don't know where it is maybe I, I don't care It was my dad in Cambodia. I think I, for, I haven't categorized everything. Okay, how do I find... Okay, let me just try this. Wait, I got to go back here. Cambodia. I like how it's not... Yeah, me too. I like that. Okay, so here's... This is Paul in Cambodia. This is my dad. So this, I think, was my first etching I ever did. And it's, a, it's my dad walking along with these two kids. It's overlapped over another one of those long boats and also overlapped with these little statue dudes. So this is a print. I think, yeah, I, did, I only did four prints. So this is number three of four, it says down there. And that was 17. So Intaglia was, was kind of nice. I did a little bit of printmaking. That's that's the one thing I learned at art school is printmaking. I did a couple things. I did I did one, two, three, four, four printmaking things. This one here is uh, that's my aunt. This is from my favorite sketch that I ever, my, one of my favorite things I've ever done was a, a, a drawing of the Trivery Fountain in, in, in Italy. And this is from a when I was drunk in art school, I ripped this off, stole this from a girl's bedroom she had this poster some sort of like one of those like motivational posters and it was like lose weight or something kind of fucked up there was a picture of this obese woman and i can't remember why i put them all together but that's that's what that's from it's a it was a lino cut where you carve with leather like you carve out leather and then i did an i did two i did two prints and then this one is this guy is, was my roommate at art school, but he was he was in music, and I think these two are from a painting by Marguerite called The Nightmare. I think 
I was trying to find them. I did see I did see the nightmare, but it looked there was like must he must have done a, more than one painting called the nightmare because it looks similar but not quite. And I think I can't remember where this is like a famous painting of a Dutch painter maybe I can't remember. And it was this was Don my buddy, and uh, all these are carved out with a, um, a kind of like this U shaped knife, and you cut the leather out, and what's left is the indentation and then you put ink on it and paper and then it's the opposite black is where you don't carve and then uh this was like i call it death because he looks like some sort of weird nosferatu kind of vampire guy and there's actually a skull here on the side if you look at it no these are all this was um this was on a zinc metal plate so intaglio is when you get a zinc metal plate and then you put a there well, I can't remember if you do it or it's already comes. I can't remember. I actually have this in my basement somewhere. Intaglio is is a printing process where you got a metal plate and it has a thin layer of this black material and then what you do is you scratch away the black material and what's left is the metal's exposed. Then you put the whole thing in a bat of a, in, in acid. The acid eats away where the metal is exposed okay once then you take it out of the acid let it dry and stuff then you peel off the the material and what's left is a pure zinc plate i could go get it with an indentation of where you scratched and then what you do is you roll ink on top of that and then put the paper and then run it through a press and so it's like th these were patterns and shapes that I, I pressed into that material and it sort of carved away a bit. A better one, better example of intaglio, I think, is is this is this one here. This is where zinc plate with that metal with that black stuff on top, and I scratched with a like a like a little pick, basically. So these little marks were I think. Is that right? I can't remember. Fuck it. You just look up Intaglio. Like, but all I know is that that one's Intaglio. This one's Intaglio. Yeah, where the scratch marks are. And um, these ones are lino cuts, which is basically lino cut relief, which is <clears throat> a kind of like leather board where it's like this tough rawhide surface that has kind of like a woven mesh of something to keep it together. Then you get like a carving tool and you carve out the leather and it kind of strips off and then you paint on it. Now you put ink on it. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. So like, you know, at art school, I the reason why I quit is because I already knew fucking, I was like way ahead of where they were and it was wasting my time except for printmaking and metalwork. And I did do some metalwork. I did a a bronze head which really sucked i haven't put it on my own website i've got a photograph of it i did some sculpture and that was okay but uh the painting and drawing was, was fucking wasting my time i could show you some of the stuff they had me do at art school it was a joke it was some it was embarrassing how fucking annoying it was like these color theory things these color squares and bleh. but uh that's yeah, print making print making. hey what time is it there in thailand Oh, you know what? Shit. I, the whole time I've been talking, I was showing stuff. I wasn't showing what I was talking about. This is the line of cut. So stupid. This was, did I, did I, okay, I don't know. So this was the, uh, this is the line of cut. This is a line of cut with my roommate. Yeah. It's 1 a.m. Well, it's 2.15 p.m. here. Oops. Sorry, autistic bot. Uh, when did you start this website? Do you really have old drawings there? No screen. All right, see you tomorrow. Hopefully you stream. Oh, sorry. I missed your text. Yeah, I got I got tons and tons and tons of drawings. I probably, I probably have hundreds of drawings here. Here's the thing. If I click on drawings, it's going to load up every drawing because it's not, it's not proper. Like there's a problem with the website. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. I might be able to do it because I've got a fast internet connection. I'm going to go to home. I'm going to search 
I don't re recommend you do this. Because you're going to get, like, it's going to load everything up. Wait, not that one. Drawing. Is it drawing? No, oh, not that one. Uh, uh, come here, you. This one should work. Yeah, I'm doing a little sneaky thing here because I know about it. This should load up. All the drawings that I have done, see it looked like it's stuck here because it's going to probably load a few hundred. So right now the website's downloading thumbnails for all my drawings. That's why I don't want people to do this because it doesn't doesn't stop at a certain number. If you click on that link. Okay, so here, here are the drawings I've done. Let's just, let's look at them. So this starts with the most recent and it goes back in time. That's going down since I was a kid. The youngest one, I think I was five. I think this is one is when I was five. Age five. So, uh, I'll have to load them all again. So I don't even know how many there are. I think it's, did it crash? Oh well. Oh well. I can show you what I was doing at art school. This is why I quit art school. Let me show you the shit I had to do at art school. These were all at art school. These are like live, these are all study, like, uh, what are they called? Art studies, like classic art studies. So this is just like nudes and shit. Nudes and shit. Oh my god, I can't hit the button every time. Yeah, this is... What a pain in the butt that is. No, I'm not into drawing animals. I don't know. I'm not into... I don't like doing cute stuff. I've done lots of cute things, but I, I mean, be more for like commercial reasons and stuff. Oh, here, this is me at art school. If you want to see a self-portrait... That's me when I was 20 at art school. But some of the stuff, here's the shit I was, okay, here's an example of going to art school. And this would be like a, they wanted me to do a study of fruit, a pomegranate and make notes. So this is the kind of shit I would do. <laughs> so here's a pomegranate drawing. And I'd write, this is a piece of fruit. This is a shadow. Oh, so nice. Ah, what a juicy looking pomegranate. I'd love to take a bite. Wouldn't you? Oh, yes, I know you do. Come on, baby. Go for it. Yes, yes. Notice the roundness? Oh, so round, like a ball or an apple or a pumpkin or even your head. Yes, sir. It sure is round. This is a mistake. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. These words recorded here are my notes of, ob of observation. Yes, sir. Hours of research and careful thinking have gone into this meticulous description of that yummy looking piece of fruit. And that's why I quit art school, because they wanted me to do shit that I was doing when I was like 15. <laughs> so that was literally one of my like assignments from art school that I handed in. I wrote a bunch of bullshit and I did some other crazy stuff. I did one drawing that was a whole bunch of giving the fingers and the, the art teacher was so clued out, didn't even see it. Everyone in the class could see it, that I had to do like a composition, you know, and it was just a bunch of fingers. I was so, oh, it was awful. I hated it. I wonder if I could find that one drawing that I loved. I don't know if I could find it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave end this soon. Okay, let's look at my one art school. I think I was really not into self portraits that much. 
Maybe right click and open a new tab. What do you mean? For what? All right. Yeah, I remember doing this one. I have a photograph of me doing this one. I wonder if I, yeah. Oh, that's just the framed version. It's quite big. That's well, 24 by 36. I've always done my hand. I don't know why. And I wasn't topless when I did this, but I drew myself without my shirt on. Why the fuck did I do that? I don't know why. That's that's what I used to look like. Look how skinny I was. My hand was reaching out. And I remember it was pencil and charcoal. And I think a little bit of chalk. I think I had a little bit of chalk here. I remember this whole thing was all charcoal because I didn't want to draw it all. And then I used a bit of a pencil. Like I think I used two pencils. I think you use a soft one for the hard lines and then a harder pencil for the little lines. Right. So you don't have, maybe right click, open a tab. I feel the need to, to give you some, ah, don't worry. You don't need, uh, don't worry about it. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, I see what you mean. So it doesn't load everything. No, basically, I'm not supposed to click on these links. I, I, this is one of the reasons why I this there's a problem with this WordPress theme is when I click on these, it opens the category without pageation, it's called. It opens them all and like everything loads. So I tried to make these non-linkable, but I can't stop them, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So right now, the only thing you can do is click on all works. And it loads them alpha like a in chronological. But I've actually done about twenty pieces since I did this one. I just haven't had time. I was trying. I wanted to fix the website first. Hey, that painting is right behind me, just over here. What I've been doing is I've been see. This is what I. It's just taking me a lot of fucking work to do this stuff. Where I'll live stream it, then I'll post it on YouTube, then come back here and add it, so you can actually watch the whole the whole painting come together. So this one was done. And then I'll maybe do a summary video. Yeah. There you go. I think I'm going to stop. I've yacked enough. Oh, whoa, whoa, that's crazy. Uh, all right. I really feel like some Thai food. Oh, my God, do I feel like some Thai food. I really think the styles of your thanks a lot. Uh, thank you very much. It's cool. Appreciate it. Damn, XD. Okay, see ya. Okay. Uh, XD. That's like what? Like a that's like a smiley emoticon face. See, only a... Only uh, you'd have to work in video games to actually know what the hell people are talking about, you young bastards. Okay, um, thank you, thanks. All right, so Nachipan, Nat, I hope I did say right, Nachiapan, Nachiapan. You gotta get a website, man. It doesn't cost too much. You could use, you could use something like Wix. It's pretty cheap, I think. And it can look pretty professional. Or you can you could um, like I I tried some other ones. There was one called Deviant Art. You could do Deviant Art is where I, I think I tried I tried posting some things a long time ago. I think this is it. Yeah, look at this. I look how young I look there. This is probably like about ten years ago. I wonder if it says 2015? No. Is that really like that? Maybe that's the latest. So you could do free stuff. I don't I, – I stopped – I gave up on this website, DeviantArt. Cause I only posted a cup, like, I don't know, maybe 20 pieces. And I was like, fuck this. This is just too much work. Oh, here we go. So these ones are some acrylic – These ones are some oils. Yeah. What are these? Watercolor? Actually, some of those are gouache. Look, I only put a couple up here. Other media. Oh, maybe I put the sculpture. Oh, there's my craft dinner. I love my craft dinner. Oh, there's my favorite drawing. This one. I love this one. This is my favorite things. I love this one. See, okay, so don't don't use DeviantArt. It's um it's just not a very good website. 
But I'm trying to think of like what you could do for free. If you're in concept art, maybe conceptart.org. I think that's a pretty good one. Like there are some free places you can host your stuff. And the ni nice thing about going to places like conceptart.org is that you can, other people who are concept artists can like give you feedback on what you're doing. So I think this is free, I think. The only thing is that your your website URL is going to be like conceptart.org slash and then whatever name. You know, with me, I, I got the domain name Druckmann, my last name, and then I, uh, I host a WordPress site. So I control this completely. I don't know what, oh, it loaded up that thing just by accident, Druckmann.com. There you go. So this is my own website and I can, I like, I created all this stuff and how you want, but really um, it's time for me to get to bed. It's been a nice chat with you. Okay, cool. All right. Nice time with you too. I'm going to stop too. Oh, wow. This is like the, probably the most I've rambled on ever. All right. Okay. Good night. See ya. Peace out. Bye. I'm going to get some Thai food now.